I guess, what are the big rocks from your point of view when it comes to uh, preparing athletes to perform at a high level? Yeah, I think it's like the, the strength of the program is obviously the team, right? So um, having having really good um, colleagues um, as as people first, and and then as skill sets uh, is is really important and, and probably underrated um, from that perspective. So uh, you know, it's a little bit less about who you know who you've got um, in your in your team, but then uh, aligning to a to a philosophy. Um, and and how each part of your uh, your staff group um, aligns to that philosophy. So when you know you're making decisions around exercise selection, how does that support um, the overarching philosophy um, uh, from from that perspective? And then being able to you know have really good communication um, lenses uh, to. If there is disagreements or whatever else that you can that you can resolve those. What are some sort of practical recommendations when it comes to strength training, uh, conditioning, and and I guess recovery um, for those that are um, perhaps just starting out? Maybe they've they've been playing the sport for a number of years, so that they're at that age of like fourteen, fifteen. They want to start taking their sort of lifestyle a little bit more seriously and and building their body up. Um, what would be some important areas to start? Do you think? Yeah. Uh, I think um, routine uh, first and foremost. Uh, like uh, I think we're sometimes we can be quick to jump at um, whether it's mo- modalities or, or techniques um, in particular, but but having a really good uh, routine, um, particularly around um, you, you know your wake and sleep cycles, for example. So um, really prioritizing your your sleepers. Um, First and foremost, um, and, and then little routine elements. What have been some sort of a glaring areas that either now you know, these strength conditioning coaches working at that level, the um, youth elite level, um, can work on and focus on, uh, or or athletes listening in can start to to do to help prepare them to transition to when they're an AFL athlete. Yeah, uh, I, I think probably more recently, a lot of the conversations with that you know cohort of strength and conditioning coaches tends to center around um you know what are the elite level doing and and how we can kind of bridge the gap uh and and which again um with a really good foundation can be can be really good but but what we tend to then find is um uh, even from a strength perspective is is the variability of movement um, of some of these younger athletes just isn't there because um, you know, they've really driven that specificity lens um, quite early. What are some sort of future trends and, and advances that you sort of anticipate for AFL high performance? Yeah, I um, I, I really hope that um, we can better assess our recovery. Um, uh, and obviously, one, from a modality perspective, um, and this is probably taking a bit more of a scientific perspective, you know, take on it because we love to measure everything. Um, mm-hmm. But, you know, if we are intervening at whatever level, um, then trying as best as we can to, to quantify that um, and because clearly the recovery is going to be across a number of biological systems and I still don't think we have a really nice, um, reliable snapshot um, of, okay, we modality effectiveness but then also when we are in the depths of pre-season um you know and we've offered a stimulus you know is it enough for some guys getting the coaches on board how do you sort of factor that like what are your windows of opportunity during the week is that on your off days are you speaking on the phone is it is it catching up with them before the schedule sort of starts at the start of the day are they coming into the gym room like talk us through how you've sort of fostered that relationship at a new club with the um, yeah. your line coaches yeah um tried to be fairly aggressive with it to be honest jack like um you know walking through into the coaches offices having conversations um you know really setting the um you know i'm not going through and pulling up a powerpoint you know it's 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 um you know this is what we're trying to achieve um this is where your presence in the gym may be really beneficial um and that sometimes revolves around individuals. So, 
you know, I, I need, you know, I might go to a, to a specific coach and say, I'd love you to work or, or be in the gym for this 10 to 15 minute window when we're doing this exercise um, or this series of exercises. Um, uh, and I want your thoughts. Sometimes it'll be observational. What do you think? You know, based on what you're seeing on field, 